Hey guys, uh, if you saw my last video about marker training, um, you will know that how this works and how to use a verbal marker so that you can teach new behaviors. Um, I put in a uh, poll to see who would be interested in teaching their dog how to do a sit pretty. It looks like this. Pretty. Yes, good job. Okay, and so we're gonna break down the steps of that and we'll just do it piece by piece. Okay, so for the first part of this, you need to make sure that you have a clicker and some food that your dog's willing to work for, okay? Now, the next piece would be, you need to make sure that your dog is in a straight sit, okay? If they're crooked, this isn't gonna work. They have to be able to stabilize. So what I'm gonna do first, if this is the first time you're teaching this to your dog, you're going to put the food to their nose and you're going to lure up slowly <clears throat> and wait for one paw, then two paws to come up for just a split second. And then you're gonna click. So it should look like something like this. Right? Just like that. And you're gonna do that over and over and over again. And sometimes they'll put their paws on your hand so that they can stabilize because they don't quite have the core stability yet, and that's okay. So you do it again. So that right there, you see how she put her hands up, her paws up to stabilize? That's totally fine. Okay, so once they start doing that and they start building up core strength and they're starting to get the idea down, <clears throat> the next thing you do when they come up like that, you're gonna pull your hand away so that they stall like this and that's the moment that you're gonna click uh, and reinforce. Go like this. And while they're up in the air, those paws coming up, that's the second you wanna, the moment you wanna click and capture, okay? And then as they start to figure out where the stability is, Okay? Then you're gonna ask for longer and longer durations of time. Okay? Now if you wanna build off of this, you can take the sick pretty trick and you can turn it into a hug. This is how um, I taught Winx to give Eros a hug. So once they go into the sit pretty, you can have them do it to your leg like this and then click. So instead of them resting their paws on you, <clears throat> you would take their, their paws and wrap them around your leg. Initially when this begins, they usually just put their paws resting on your thigh. That's okay, you can reinforce that. And then when they're stable, you can start pushing their paws around and when they grip, click and treat. And then reinforce. If they hang on there, even better in my opinion, um, it lets them know that that's exactly what you're looking for them to do. Okay, cool. So one more time. Okay, and as I previously mentioned, if you want to, if you have two dogs, the first thing you need to teach the one that's stabilizing is their only job is to just sit there, okay? So then you're going to lure over your dog, and you're going to tell them to hug. Good job. And you have to reinforce your dog that's just sitting there. And you might have to break that dog into even smaller pieces. Sit. And get them comfortable. You see that there, though? Like, you got to make sure that they don't accidentally scratch your dog. Um, good. Okay, don't accidentally scratch your other dog, so help them do that gently and with care so they don't accidentally scratch your other dog in the face when that happens. Um, equally important is to make sure, as I uh, just mentioned, that you should reward your dog that is sitting there just stabilizing, okay? Um, and just to show you, uh, Eros knows how to do the sit pretty too, but it's the same thing. So just to recap, that's it. They should start with both feet on the ground, then one paw, then two. And whenever they balance, you would mark and reward with the clicker, okay? Some dogs, if they have a hard time doing this, you can get behind them like I am with Eros. <clears throat> and you can lure up, get rid of the clicker and defer to a verbal marker and you can put your hand on their chest and help them stabilize and find their balance. And then yes, put your hand away, yes, and then feed. And eventually they will develop that core strength so that they can stabilize on their own. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. What other tricks do you want your dogs to learn? Um, I'm curious to know, I'm always looking for ways to break up um, some of the obedience routine stuff just to keep things interesting it's a lot of fun for them it's a really good bonding experience for for the both of you um and they love it you know the more that you challenge them to 
build their vocabulary and their abilities, the, the more you have a uh, means of being able to communicate and have fun with them. Let me, let me know what you guys think and what tricks that you would like your dog to learn or what tricks have you worked on that you found were fun that you would uh, suggest other people teach their dogs. Let me know and I will see you guys later.